right, looks like we are starting up. Everything is moving along. There we go. Got everything moving. Just a couple of minutes here, we'll get started and jump right into the review. We'll make sure everything is looking good and sounding good. There we go. Very nice. Okay, looks like everything is solid. All right. Again, just a couple of minutes, guys. We'll get started in just a few here. I want to make sure we have at least a few people in here before we get rolling with this here right now. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely have a look around here. Take a look and see if you, if you like what you see. Of course, um, there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, definitely, let's see what we've got in here. We've got people jumping into the chat already, as you can see. Drew, Drew, what it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. Metro Photo Negative Mickey fan. Great to see you. Thanks so much for jumping in. Dwayne Reed. Microsoft 404, why haven't you been streaming in a while? Crazy schedules, just the week before last, actually. That's really the only thing. Um, we are in this right now on Valentine's Day, just so you guys know. Really, really uh, fun to be here on Valentine's Day with you guys. Drew, happy uh, El Pollo Loco fan. Yes, we'll talk about that right after the review. Adam Davis, happy Valentine's Day to you as well. I appreciate you. I thank you so much. I'm your number one reviewer. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, we're going to jump in here in just a couple of minutes. We'll jump right into the review. We've got 12 people watching here right now, and I think you guys are going to want to see what I'm going to do right now. This should be pretty fun. Buzz, thanks so much for jumping in. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. Larry Nguyen, in effect. Ed Keaton in the house as well. Michael Domeyer, all of my original peeps in the house here right now. Great to see you guys on here. Thank you so much for being here on Valentine's Day, no less. Um, keep in mind, because it is Valentine's Day, and obviously I am married, I know my wife wants to go do something tonight, I am going to be cutting the stream, unfortunately, just a little short tonight. Um, we'll probably go about maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less, depending upon how this goes, um, and uh, we'll go from there. But I did not want to cancel the stream tonight, naturally. I was looking at the schedule, I'm like, man, it is Valentine's Day, but... Uh, I'm not here for you guys right now. You know I love you. It's all about the hearts all the way around here. So, of course, we're going to do this for you big tonight. And we're not going to be reviewing just something small. And I can guarantee you Drew is not going to guess what it is. I can almost guarantee he's not going to guess what it is. Let me know if you guys can actually see me correctly. Hopefully, you guys can. You can hear me. Obviously, I'm not seeing anything in the chat to the contrary. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know everything is looking good. And uh, we will just jump right into this right here. So we'll got one more person. We'll wait for the jump in just so it registers right over here when we hit to the 25 mark. Pumpkinhead guy 101. How's your Valentine's Day? Not bad. Very busy though. I am trying to get a lot of content finished, a lot of things ahead of time. As you guys have seen, probably the endorsement has been here in Los Angeles uh, about a week or so ago. So there's a lot of content coming out. There's a lot of stuff going on in general. So we'll, we'll definitely talk all about that right after the review. Um, but let's just get right into it right now. Cool. You guys can hear me. You guys can see me. It is great to see you guys on here right now. Guys, welcome to the live stream, the Valentine's Day live stream. I didn't plan it that way. It's just the way the date kind of came out for you. But my name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. And I create what I like to call high quality foodie features. And I pretty much have my own particular slant as all the creators do here on the platform doing what they do. And I definitely love doing what I do here on the channel. Definitely have a look around. If you guys are not subscribed, I would easily recommend that you do subscribe. There's brand new content every single week here on the channel. Two or three pieces of content, live streaming usually Friday nights as well. If you guys like what you see and you do subscribe, of course, if you want to contribute to the channel, take a look at that description box down below. You'll find three different ways to do it. You've got Super Chat, of course, here in the chat. And you've got PayPal as well as Streamlabs in there as well too. Amazon link down below for all the equipment, all the fun stuff that I use here on the channel. Um, and it's great to be here with you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this review real fast because if you're catching this on the replay, chances are you're like, just get to it already. So we are going to get to it right now. And just so you guys know, what I am actually going to be reviewing on Valentine's Day is not necessarily a Valentine's Day item, as most people would expect. And uh, chances are Drew is probably thinking it's going to be a Valentine's Day item. Could it be a Valentine's Day donut? No, <laughs> it is not, my friend. But shout outs to you, man. Shout outs to uh, one of my mods there, Drew's Food Reviews. And you'll see a few others that'll pop in here. But guys, I was going through the drive through and I usually, as I'm going around, making my contacts around, checking in with things. And I came across something that actually came out a few years back when I first reviewed this. Um, but it was a little bit of a different name. So believe it or not, I saw this. I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to do a quickie review tonight, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream. It's a Valentine's Day stream. I didn't want to just do chips. I didn't want to do cookies. I didn't want to do all that basic stuff. I thought we'd do a real main fast food item from Popeyes in this case, as I'm trying to get this straight over here. So as you guys can probably tell, and for those of you in the know in the foodie community, 
they have brought back their buttermilk shrimp or the buttermilk biscuit shrimp. When I reviewed it a few years ago, it was buttermilk shrimp. And I did the surf and turf version of it. So we are actually gonna be taking a look. I'm gonna try and open this carefully for you guys so nothing spills out here. It's always rough when you try and do these things live. But as you guys can see here, we have got some of their butterfly shrimp. They all say they're butterfly, even though some are smaller. But as you can see, these are coated in buttermilk biscuit batter. So the main draw with this one, when I did this, I think it was Mardi Gras mustard sauce I did, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken there. If you guys actually remember that, or if you jump on over to my playlist, let me know if you've actually seen um, which sauce. I don't really remember, because Mardi Gras mustard is the bomb. I love Mardi Gras mustard. I put that on everything. Even the chicken sandwich, I enjoy it. But how bad could this really be if I were to get Mardi Gras mustard with these? I, really, really delicious stuff. But... There is a special sauce this time, and this is something that uh, I think I may have actually tried on another one of their items too. I've reviewed so many Popeye's items over the years. There's a full playlist. There's tons of playlists here on my channel. It's over a thousand pieces of content for your viewing pleasure that you guys can put on repeat. Hint, hint, that would be awesome. But take a look, red pepper jelly sauce. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a little sweet. It's gonna be a little bit heated, um, but overall just a lovely situation because naturally it's a sauce. It's gonna go with some fried shrimp. How bad could that really be, right? So in the chat, we've got a lot of people in here right now. We've got David, Big Dog Ramey, what a do. Thanks so much for jumping on. Chicken hearts, that's so funny there. at Ever card in the house here as well. Really, really fun stuff as well too there. Looks like we've got a super chat donation jumping in already from Manuel Soto. Manuel, thank you so much. You're probably gonna see something pop up on the screen here in just a little bit, so watch for that. And uh, if you guys see that, definitely give him a thumbs up. But there it is, staying frosty. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. We are going to get into this just so you guys know. And how many shrimp do I have in here, actually? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I got ten. And one of their world-class biscuits. I love the biscuits here. And you know what? We're going to be trying a little bit of that red pepper jelly sauce with the biscuit because why not? So let me actually open this up just to get this ready. So the first time I'm reviewing Popeyes live on live stream right now for you guys, and you guys are obviously watching this on the replay, available the very next day, Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm not even gonna smell this yet, but I can already tell it is very jelly-like. <laughs> very jelly-like, actually. There, let me go for a quick smell. Oh yeah, it smells like red peppers, but it's sweet. It says what it says, so we'll have to see how that is in just a second here. But as for the shrimp, let me pull one of these up. Just so you guys know, this is pretty much the standard type of shrimp at Popeyes. What do you guys think of these? Give me a thumbs up. Give me actually a, an emoji here in the chat. Let me see a bunch of shrimps. If you guys can light up the emojis with the fried shrimp, that would look amazing on screen right now. So this is looking pretty good. Coated in their buttermilk biscuit batter, pretty much what they make their biscuits in here right now. So we got Freddy Foodie King in the house right now. We are busting out with some Popeye's buttermilk shrimp here. This is technically the second time I've done this. I'm not doing the chicken version, just the shrimp. Let's give it a shot and see how it is the second time around. It's about 20 minutes old, so still warm, but obviously it could be hotter. Mm -hmm. That is rich. Rich buttermilk flavor. Oh, yeah. This tastes like their batter easily with the biscuits. It's got like a denseness to it. The meat on the actual shrimp is actually not bad. Hey, real quick in the chat, because I'm seeing some stuff come through here right now. I see the fried things coming through. Do you guys eat the tails? Yes or no? Give me a thumbs up if you guys eat the tails. Because it's good with that. It really is. So let me go for one more bite of another one. I'm going to try and give you a cross-section shot. And we'll actually kind of redo what I do on my channel with my reviews, I want to give you as much detail as possible. Let's give it a shot real quick. Mmm. That was a meaty one. Just so you guys know, I got some red beans and rice action too to go with this. But, a lot of batter. Definitely a lot of batter. It's fried goodness, as you can see there. I've done so many reviews from Popeyes for their shrimp over the years, so this is pretty much the same. Unless they have like a different flavor or something like that as well. Tails are fine according to Iricard. Cool, 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 cool. 
Freddy Foodie King, hello to you, my friend. Great to see everybody on here as well. We got 42 peeps in the house right now. So if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up down below, we're doing a real product here right now, guys. Let's hit that thumbs up down below. Do me a solid. That would be amazing. But digging the amount of uh, breading on this, believe it or not, because it's their biscuit coating. It's their buttermilk biscuit goodness. The nice sweetness that I'm kind of getting from the shrimp. This is pretty nice. And to be honest, I think Popeyes has kind of pulled back from doing their promo thing ever since the sandwich came out. They haven't really had anything except the Voodoo Tenders. What, like, uh, I think that was like early October, I believe. So it's nice to see something coming out new, even though we're coming up on that season of Lent. We're coming up on, you know, Easter is not right around the corner. You're going to see all the fish promos go into effect. Kind of expected this to kind of happen like that. It is what it is. Big dog. So nothing special. It's okay. But how good is it going to be with this? Let's find out. All right. Here is a good one. This actually looks really nice. Okay. Let's get this. Giving you the full peep this out treatment here. Take a look. It's thick. This is definitely thick. As you guys can see, it's kind of stringy at the same time but there are some pepper flakes in there it is definitely got a lot of thickness going on here we go with the red pepper jelly the specialty sauce with the buttermilk shrimp this time around Ooh, that's different hold on a lot of sweetness and the heat is like fighting with it so there's a lot of flakes in what I'm looking at here right now, guys. Take a look at this here again. It has got a lot of red flake action. <coughs> oh, okay, there it comes. Wow, that was a late effect with that one. A lot of sweetness right away. And then it kind of comes up on that back end. I know I say that a lot because that's what most of these flavors do. They come up on the back end. But look how thick this is. Here we go. Drip, drip, drip. Look at that, guys. That is, that's pretty thick. It's not watery at all. So quality of the sauce is pretty bomb on this. Bus, I am drinking iced tea tonight. Mmm. Dude, this red pepper jelly sauce is the bomb right now. It really is. Mmm. Yeah. I like this. This is a nice pairing with the shrimp. Overall rating on this one, the shrimp is okay. It's nothing special. I mean, I've had this a million times. I would probably say, given the size of the shrimp that I have here, and there's actually some really decent pieces. Let me give you an idea of what I'm looking at here. So they're solid. I mean, I actually have a nice grouping here. Here's one that's missing the tail right there too. Let me see. If you guys are fans of fried shrimp, let me see two threes give me a 33 just put 33 in the chat if you guys are fans of fried shrimp let me see how many 33s we can light up here on the side but quality of these is pretty decent by the way 33 is just one of my favorite numbers i love threes, so that's why i said that but nice pieces i mean it's not bad i'm glad i have 10 of them six bucks i gotta be honest it's about average it's about average right now rdr food reviews in the house what to do baby good to see you on here man thanks so much for jumping on we're taking a look at some shrimp from popeyes right now um, and again, I'm really digging the overall quality of this one here. So we got Drew with the 33. We got Goody Two Shoes, Jane in the house, 33 as well. Gene Peterson, 33. Freddie Foodie King, Stephen Shields, Big Dog Ramey, Manuel Soto, Candace Cherry. It is lighting up right now, and I'm not. I'm trying not to lose my voice quick. So really, really good. You know what? Since I've already taken a bite of the shrimp, a couple of them, I took two or three at this point. Let's go for a quick bite of the biscuit. I want to go for one more quick little shot of that red beans and rice to show you that. And then I'll give you the overall rating of everything here. Not just to stretch this out, but I want to give you the full impact of what you're looking at. So here we go with the world famous biscuit. Uh, a little on the older side from Popeyes. Here we go. It's still all right, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And then my lighting is kind of blowing it out contrast wise right there. So buttery, though. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Not bad. I'm a fan as well. All right. Jackie Hero, thanks so much for jumping on. Food reviews is in the fact as well. Thank you so much. You guys should be jumping on over. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Foodie, the um, 
Freddy Foodie King, Drew's Food Reviews, Jackie Hero Food Reviews, RDR Food Reviews. We got a lot of great people in the community here, rocking it out here. Stephen Shields, did you root for the Niners in the Super Bowl? You know, actually, I have some family members who are really down with the 49ers, and I know they were a little upset with it, but I am glad the Chiefs did actually win because first time in 50 years is a lovely situation, and I think it kind of dovetails nicely with the history. And I thought it were you know it worked well considering the Niners were in the Super Bowl like six years ago too. So I think it makes uh, it makes sense that they win it. But guys, this is the red beans and rice. If you guys have never had this, this is just amazing. It's probably the best entree I think you can get on the side um, that has probably the most flavor because it's got smokiness, um, maybe a little bacon flavor if I'm not mistaken. But it's really really good. Let me go for one quick bit of this. Can you guys tell I'm hungry? I haven't had really dinner yet. Mmm, smoky, beanie, if I can call it that. Microsoft, was today your first video with the endorsement? Yes, it was. We had some good times when he was out over here. We filmed a whole bunch of stuff about a week and a half ago, and he's been lighting it up as well. I recorded a couple of things with him. Um, one of them I have planned for Sunday, and then another one into the week. But it was primarily to make sure he got to where he needed to go to try everything he wanted to try. Um, so we were definitely making a lot of progress driving around. It was pretty crazy. But good times. Great meeting him finally. And it was really a good time, you know, batting ideas, conversing, talking about anything and everything YouTube and outside of YouTube. It was a good time. Mmm, man. That is just ridiculous. All right. Red beans and rice. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And before I give you the rating of the shrimp, let's go for a little... Dippity dip dip dip. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said it that way, but we're gonna do a little action right over here. So let me get a little closer for you. And just so you guys can see, you know, this red pepper jelly sauce, it's exclusive with this uh, new promo for Popeyes this month with the shrimp. I gotta say, I like this. I think I would probably use this on other things, guys. It's really thick, and I gotta say, the flavor is nice. Let's see how that batter is going to be just with literally just the batter itself and the uh, and the biscuit, I guess, together. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Would it be a crime to say that I actually like the red pepper jelly with the biscuit better than the shrimp? Oh, please. Mm-hmm. Come on now. One more bite. I got to do it. This, this is good. This is good. Oh, man. Or I got to put this down. That's <laughs> seriously good. All right. Let me put this over here. That is pretty tasty. A little criminally tasty, I got to tell you. Uh, let's see. Elizabeth, cringe much? <laughs> Dippity dip dip oof. <laughs> you already know. Great to see uh, the endorsements in the house here as well. Very cool. Thanks so much for jumping on, my friend. Great having you make the pilgrimage out here. To the pilgrimage, I should say, out to the West Coast. I'm glad we can go around and get all the filming done. Watch you in action. Watch you do what you do. And uh, have a good time, man. I'm glad I was able to assist with that. Um, as well as just naturally take part in these li the live collab, which was fun to do as well. So you guys will see the live one that we have coming out on Sunday for me. Um, it was a place that both of us had never been to. Obviously, it's his first time out here. So for me, actually living in the area, this is a place I've driven by. And I'm like, let me make something a little bit special, not just anything that we can always review and find el everywhere, but something local to here. So it was great to do that. And I'm having fun putting the finishing touches on that as well. So in, in between all the other stuff that we've got going on for both of our channels, you know, a lot of work this last couple of weeks. And I'm definitely I'm still kind of recovering from how tired I am from everything. But anyway, back to the review. We have 47 people in the house right now. Again, shout outs to Manuel Soto for the Super Chat donation. Thank you so much. Anyone who may have already donated on PayPal or any of the ways here on the channel. Um, you guys will be in the show notes naturally. If you're watching this on the replay, if you look down below, chances are you're going to see that already. Um, overall, for the buttermilk shrimp, buttermilk biscuit shrimp, they're calling it this time around. I'll make sure I link my review to this one at some point here. If it's not already linked already, if you're watching this on the replay, uh, maybe you'll find it down below in the description there. Um, on its own, I give it like a seven and a half. It's okay batter. It's kind of like a quickie thing, something that they just kind of threw together, which they have anyway. Um, the main thing is really... 
the sauce. I mean, that's really the big thing. And I love the new marketing that they're using with this on the front. So it's definitely more updated, um, which is cool. So seven and a half for the shrimp with the red pepper jelly. I would probably say maybe an 8.1. It's just over what I usually give for things that are pretty decently made. Quality is good. The size of the shrimps was pretty good as well. Sean Frey is jumping out there with the kisses and the heated <laughs> the devils right are in there. You know, if that was actually a black devil, that could be Batman right there too. If that actually, that emoji was black, that would be awesome. So the red pepper jelly is what sells this. And this is the reason why you want to give this one a shot because the flavor is nice on this, guys. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I did review a version of this with one of the other reviews I've done from Popeyes back in the day. So, you know, naturally very, very good. The sweetness is good. The heat is pretty decent. It's nothing crazy. It's fast food heat, um, but very light. On the number scale, maybe like a three out of 10. It's like a sizzle. It's not bad, but that initial one that I got kind of crept up in the back. It's kind of a delayed effect, if anything there. So uh, definitely pretty decent for this guy. So on its own, amazing with the red pepper jelly. Um, it's amazing, I should say. On its own, it's just okay by itself. And naturally, you know what to expect from Popeye's, a Louisiana marinated seasoning um, that they do. It's all the same, but the biscuit with it, I got to say, is pretty awesome. It's definitely worth it for that there. So 8.1, I think, is fair. I really can't go much higher than that. I would like to see something a little bit more innovative from Popeye's after all this time, naturally. I know the sandwich is amazing, but we need more than just the sandwich. We need to see some other promos, some other things like that. So if you guys agree with that assessment, Give me the thumbs up here in the chat. If you don't agree with the assessment, give me the thumbs up here in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but overall, it's just all right. I mean, it is what it is. I'm glad I can actually do this for you guys live. Um, and it was also an excuse to get some red beans and rice because that is the truth. I got to tell you, it is really, really tasty. I will be using this uh, red pepper jelly sauce for other things without a doubt here. So not bad whatsoever. So guys, thank you so much. If you guys have what, tuned in just for the review, a little bit on the longer side naturally there, but again, thank you so much. Hit the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the Popeye's version of their shrimp here. How many times have you had it? Is it your favorite? Do you prefer the regular chicken? Is the tenders more your speed? Drop those comments down below. And like always, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, good times, guys. I'm not going anywhere. We still got about 10 minutes or so here. So just tonight, it's a little bit on the shorter side. So I wanted to jump in there and uh, and finish out officially <laughs> in one shot. Um, but good times there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed that review, if you want to see more of this type of style using a more mainstream product, if you want to see some of the reviews like this, let me see some thumbs up here. And if you guys are watching this on the replay, definitely hit that comment section down below. Light it up and let me know what you guys want because... I love creating the stuff that I do here in my channel, but I also want to cater to what it is you specifically want to see too. And I'm trying to broaden my horizons just a little bit as well. Really, really fun stuff here. Buzz, thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Just so you, hey, Buzz, just so you know, I was at Disney um, this past uh, couple of days ago with the wifey because she thought that the uh, Lunar New Year promo, I guess the thing that they had all around California Adventure, um, was still going to be on. So... Uh, weren't we weren't able to actually see that because it ended actually on the ninth, um, but we also did not get into Rise of the Resistance either, the new Star Wars ride. So we uh, we tried what we could with that. So keep in mind we will be back, we'll be back to give that a go. So I'm seeing the thumbs up, thumbs down from Drew. Very cool. Yes, yeah, so Eva Card says switch it up. Incidentally, if you guys were actually uh, shooting a bunch of comments to me during the uh, the food review, I apologize if I wasn't able to get to what those were. I was trying to get through the review there. But do definitely cut and paste if you can. Ask away here. I'll be on here for you for a few more minutes here. And then normally we go for an hour on Fridays, um, just so you guys know. And for the question for Goody Two Shoes, what are you and Mrs. doing tonight? The wifey wants to watch Birds of Prey. And uh, I'm curious to see what that's all about as well. I'm a fan of the characters, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's all about. So considering how everything is crazy in terms of just the cost tonight, it's Valentine's Day. Here it's about 8.20 on the West Coast, so um, we're probably just going to get something light. I don't really want to have anything too crazy after having a little bit of this Popeyes right now. Again, it's all about the balance. Um, but I'll be watching the, that movie probably in about an hour and a half or so, depending upon when the last show is. And then I'm going to come home and get this video chopped. I'm basically going to put together so you guys will have the thumbnail officially. And then tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard, you guys get to relive the magic that I consider being here with you guys on Friday nights. Because I love this on-the-fly stuff when we're doing our thing together here. Um, it's all off the cuff. It's all off the top of my head. We're just having a good time. 
And uh, it's important for me to make sure I try and keep it as entertaining and upbeat for you guys because you guys have choices naturally. And I appreciate you making my channel one of them. So um, we're definitely going to be having some fun tonight there. And then uh, we'll come back and um, continue on. But you guys know you guys are a big part of what I do. And I, I definitely want to make time to do what I have to um, as well. Let's see here. I'm jumping on down. Rick Marone, congrats to 25K. Thank you. And also, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the direct messages. I've been getting a bunch today regarding that uh, El Pollo Loco commercial that I had a chance to participate in. Uh, filmed that about three or so weeks ago. Um, and that was definitely a good time just kind of coordinating that and then doing that and, and doing. There was a lot more stuff that I filmed, but they just basically pulled what they did um, and put that together. But it was a lot of fun to do. So that was my first official um, gig like that, you know, I've done some voiceover work and I've done some things in general, but that was my first time as a, as a feature, you know, being in there, which was kind of cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hearts out to everybody for you guys, for all the well wishes. Um, I really, really greatly appreciate you guys uh, reaching out there. It was a lot of fun to do that. So good times. Um, and it was actually a little something to kind of keep you, keep you busy while the next thing is in play um, after today, tonight, actually with this and then into the regular content this week. Um, you will see some other stuff. I know I've getting a lot of requests for the Pizza Hut thing. Do not worry about that. That's one of the ones coming as well. Um, so there's a lot of things that you guys have to look forward to this coming week for sure. So a lot of stuff in the can. In addition, obviously, to the collab stuff. So, you know, really, really fun. Dan Savage, you the man. You. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's see. Bus, the wife and I are watching Disney Plus, watching The Lion King. Nice. Nice. I love that movie. I thought the actual live action one was good too there. A lot of people were like, you know, it's the same movie. It's just live action. Well, duh. <laughs> it's a great film either way. I'm glad they didn't do anything with it. Uh, let's see here. Let me shoot back on over. Yes, Freddy Food King Tapatio. Really cool history with the CEO and the people from El Pollo Loco there. It was really fun to be able to contribute to that. Um, I didn't want to do anything thumbnail wise to deter from what it was. So I just grabbed a screen capture from the video and then I just put stuff on it just so you guys can see... Um, you know, it was me, but it was good. It was a, it was a lot of fun to do that. That was filmed in downtown Los Angeles at an undisclosed secret location. Good times. Goody two shoes. Green sriracha is even better. Sean Faye jumping out with the emojis right there. Man, we got a lot of treats. It's all about the sweets tonight, just so you guys know. Which, just so you guys know as well, um, you got to have something sweet on Valentine's Day. You got to have a treat or something there. So we have like a little Boston cream type of cake thing um, that I picked up today. So yeah, definitely we'll be having some of that later on. It's, you got to have a little bit of treat, you know, with that special someone. Or if it's self-love, that whole thing too, you know, as long as you have something, go for it. Go for it, go for it. Bus, the wifey now wants donut, man. So off to get a strawberry donut. Nice, Bus. Thanks so much for jumping in there. I don't want to tip my hat to one of the uh, reviews you may see from somebody that I know, <laughs> but you may see something in the near future there, Buzz. And hopefully, if anyone is watching, they're not gonna give me a give me a look like what. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna say anything further. Drew, yes, Ian is a crazy chicken man. I appreciate you. You guys are too much right now. Wow, wore his Brainiac glasses in the ad. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I asked if I needed to wear those glasses. That's my normal glasses that I wear every day. Um, and they were just like, uh, well, let's try it either or. And then they tried it. And I was concerned about the reflecting, if there was anything like that. And uh, they just they kept what they got. So it was all good there. Drew, next time Ian is going to wear a chicken suit for the commercial. That would be pretty hilarious. That would be pretty hilarious. Uh, let's see. Lauren J, how do I get my comments seen? It's it's my birthday. Congratulations. Hey, you know what? Let's just sing it for Lauren right now because we're here towards the end. We've got a few minutes here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lauren J. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Big hearts and love go out to you on Valentine's Day. And uh, it's awesome that you have a birthday on Valentine's Day. That's a beautiful situation right there. Carl Broussard, do you watch The Biggest Loser? No, I don't watch any of those things. If I had time to watch things first run, believe me, I probably would. But I'm always catching up on, you know, stuff after the fact or I'm watching on demand. I never really watch anything first run. Uh, let's see. Eric Carr, we know who the donut man is. Yes, and he happens to be one of the mods here on my channel, actually. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The endorsement was critical. I know what you say. I know you won't say anything. <laughs> what is your favorite food place? 
You know, if you've seen the endorsements review today, you're going to know right there. Go jump on over to the endorsements channel and take a look. He had a chance to take a look at one of the iconic staples here in Los Angeles, and it's well known. It's one of my all time favorite places. Um, and it's the first collab video put together with him in it and me, naturally. So uh, definitely uh, have a look at that there. Um, but that'll answer it for you, I think, pretty instantly. Uh, let's see, you guys. Lauren J, please show the illustration in the background. This one right over here. That was actually from Jack in the Box back in the day, but uh, I got to clean that one off because it needs to be dusted, to be honest. There's a lot that you're not seeing back over here that needs to be taken care of. Uh, but I'll see if I can get that done, and maybe for next week I'll, uh, I'll put that on there. So definitely check in. Definitely check in. Thanks and congratulations. Much appreciated. No, it's Lauren. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And see, we've got such a positive community here that I love when everyone interacts here in the chat. You see, really, really positive. You can see just the, the love and the emojis and everything going on. Um, it's just awesome. It's just awesome to see. Nehemiah, don't worry if you're late. Chances are you're watching the replay the next day at 12 p.m. on Saturday the 15th. It will be available for you. But uh, better late than never. You're here in the chat. You guys are all immortalized on film right now, technically, for this video. Once it goes live, you guys are, are officially here, so it's all good. Christian Franz, Cheesecake Factory Review. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> Chevy Five Speed, can anyone be my friend? You are with friends. You are surrounded by friends, my friend. Surrounded. Look at all of these peeps here right now. Look at all of them. They're all over. Uh, let's see. Steven Shields, I'm coming to LA next year to see the Lakers in person. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's definitely something electric about being at the Staples Center. I know in light of all the tragedy this past uh, few weeks and everything, it's definitely an iconic place and really a fun venue um, to watch sporting events for sure. Uh, let's see. Don, I really dig the collab between you guys. Thank you. It was a good time. Definitely a good time. Like I said, it was a really, really fun just, you know, carting around places. I put on literally about maybe two to 300 miles on my car with all the places and back and forth. And, you know, we stay pretty much local to the area, but, um, just a lot to see, a lot to make sure we covered. And there was a bunch of content <laughs> that was filmed. So, uh, more on his side, because naturally for what he wanted to do and scratch the things off the bucket list, I didn't want to kind of steal too much in there. But it was fun, fun, fun um, to do there. And naturally, we had to do the in and out one. I mean, we just had to. So you'll see more coming uh, that are coming out there later in the week from him, along with the newer stuff that's out there as well. Which, by the way, you know, we've got another five or so minutes here. Guys, if you guys haven't tried the BFC Angus Thick Burger yet, you need to be jumping on over uh, to uh, Hardee's. I believe Hardee's has it as well with their breakfast that, that they're doing right now. But you can put that cheese disc on any of their items, um, I think for like two or three bucks for what it is. Um, I actually, that was the last night. I, I want to say maybe that, yeah, it was the last night when the uh, the endorsement was here. And I was driving to go do something else. And I saw this big thing across the window. And it looked like the, the quesalupa back in the day. If you guys remember the Taco Bell quesalupa with the cheese shell, pepper jack cheese, the image was like, you know, right people pulling the cheese apart. So I was like, I got to see what this is. And then naturally, the people inside, they kind of gave me an idea. They said it has something called boom boom sauce. And, you know, it's the cheese of what it was. And I was like, dude, this is nuts right now. So I'm like, let me just do a quick cheaters cam review. I was so trashed when I filmed that review uh, for my review when I put that out a few days ago. I was so tired. Um, but let me just tell you, it was uh, it was worth doing that. It was worth checking out, and you guys need to. It really is very well executed. Um, very, very awesome. Uh, let's see. Favorite place is Tommy's from Jane. Very cool. You're from Goody Two Shoes there, for sure. Yeah, that's another iconic staple right there. Outlaws Generation in the house. Mike, let's see here. How are you, man? Congrats on the commercial. Uh, have you been lately? Uh, Laughing Bird software can help my thumbnails. Yes, it's definitely a cool tool. I can tell you they have a version eight, which I haven't upgraded to yet, Mike. That's definitely something I want to take a look at. A lot of newer tools for PNG and for editing and things too there. So um, if you get the eight, let me know how it is because I definitely want to uh, give that a try uh, for sure. Uh, let's see. Drew says, nope, going to court to get custody of the birthday. Someone's getting stolen. Larry Nguyen in effect. What's going on? Why are you putting dates to dates? 78 to 20. Oh, yeah. I know it's not a good look. Not a good look. BFC all day, Freddie. You already know what it is. I think I saw your, you released yours, Freddie, right? Give me a thumbs up, Fred, if you did. I think I saw you in my feed 
on my way home here. I, you know, I have to take a look and see what you thought. If you did that, I know you probably did or you're going to if you haven't already. Um, everybody, that's a prerequisite. If you are a food reviewer, if you are even curious, if you are just curious about cheese, you're curious about burgers, you're curious about the combination, um, and you like a lot of it, you owe it to yourself to give that a shot. Unsponsored, unsponsored, that's all I'm going to say. It is worth your time. It is worth your time. They actually, hand, I don't know about hand breading the cheese themselves. I'm sure they're sent to them, but they fry it on the spot when you order. It's beefier beef. For some reason, it's juicier. It's more flavorful. Um, but once you bite into that, it's insane. I mean, if you guys haven't seen my review, I'm sure there's a few other reviews that are out now for that. You can see the amount of cheese in that. It is definitely a cheese showcase um, and it's delicious. It is ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. So yes, definitely, Freddie, I got to take a look and see um, what's happening with you with that one. If you've done it, I have a feeling you did. I have a feeling you did. Uh, goody two shoes, waiting till my taste buds recover. Can't review what I can't taste, stupid flute. No, you know what? It's worth waiting, Jane. It's worth waiting because it'll be, it'll be worth it for you there. It really is insane. It really is. Uh, Nehemiah, no live stream the last two. Yes, it's been like crazy, crazy, crazy. And you guys have probably, now you know partly why. <laughs> Just with my schedule and everything going on. Um, it's been crazy, but we're back to normal. We're definitely back to normal. Uh, let's see, RDR, I'm definitely reviewing that. The next time reminds me of that burger, burger from Shake Shack. You know, I just did the uh, Shackmeister, uh, Robert, actually. I don't know if you've never had that one, too, with, with the shallots. It's really um, pretty serious, and actually with the cheese and everything on that one as well. Um, I got to say, I don't know if, the, you know, they haven't really advertised if it's fresh beef that they're using uh, for Carl's, but they do actually, and I have a little clip in my video where it says juicier, tastier, or more seasoned type of beef, I think it was. Um, but it's definitely a fresher type of patty. And probably the juiciest I think I've had that in a long time. I gotta be honest, it was uh, really, really good. But worth checking out, Robert, definitely. You're gonna, you're gonna love it, man. That thing is ridiculous. Um, get right to it right when you get it, naturally, because the hotter it is, the more gooier it is, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous, it really is. Uh, let's see. Steven Shields, Voodoo has the Kentucky Fried Movie for free. Nice. All Peep This Out fans should see it. That is a wholehearted recommendation right there from Steven Shields and your boy Ian K right now. Yes, the Kentucky Fried Movie. If you guys remember the airplane flick from back in the days, uh, Top Secret, like the old um, Police Squad um, movies back in the day. That TV show actually with Leslie Nielsen where all they're all based on. It's all that type of slapstick humor. Um, voodoo. Well, I'm going to check that. I'm going to have to check that out, actually. I own the movie, Steven, so it's always free for me every time I watch it. But it's nice to know you can get it on demand. That's awesome. Mr. Rogers tried the BFC with bacon on it. Oh, that's got to be insane. And, and with a breakfast sandwich with the eggs, I was actually chatting with the, uh, the endorsement about that. So, yeah, I can imagine how breakfast would be um, with it as well. So, guys, last couple of questions as we round out the stream for tonight. Um, we're actually not going to be closing out too much more before my regular hour, actually, because we're, uh, I started at right at the 8 o'clock hour, so we'll give you a couple of more minutes here. I know the wifey is already sending me messages here. I already see my phone kind of blinking, <laughs> so she wants to go. Before we have uh, Valentine's Day quarrels, which is never a good thing. Uh, let's see. Larry Nguyen, what is your favorite review of 2020? Well, I got to admit, you know, the BFC is up there right now, Larry, because I'm a, I'm a huge cheese fanatic. And I said that in the review. I love cheese. So when I bit into that and when I finally got into that second bite and I had a blast of everything, that was just amazing. I had a lot of fun filming it. Now, keep in mind, it's more of a challenge doing it at night. Whenever I do the night filming, it's you have to battle lighting and that type of thing. Um, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Larry Nui, we do a review of Shake Shack soon. If they've got something newer, I probably would. Um, pretty much their standard menu, and they bring back some of the things that they've had for a while. But I do have some Shake Shack reviews uh, on there. Um, so we'll have to see if anything is uh, warranted, wording, worthy of the look, I should say, uh, to go back and give it a shot there. But they do have some great stuff, I can tell you. Uh, E-Ricar, they really needed to improve, uh, improve the beef. It seems like it. I mean, I haven't seen any of the advertising except for in the store when I went in there to get it. Um, and it seemed like that. So, you know, we'll have to see. Nehemiah, do you know what they, if they're making a third Jurassic World? It's either coming out this year or next. I believe it's another year or two from now, but it's definitely, it's definitely coming, they've already said. 
Don, I think more places are going fresh rather than frozen beef. Yes, they've got to do that. They've got to do that because the quality of it definitely comes through. Once the Whopper goes that way, because the Whopper is delicious anyway. Um, but I can tell you, when they do fresh beef on a Whopper, that would be something to actually experience. And that would be something to see. I'm still waiting for the Grand Mac fresh beef. If they come out with the Grand Mac, and I've said this for the last two or three years now, um, I will re-review that burger because it is technically a newer product with fresh beef for sure. Um, I really enjoyed going to that Fresh Beef VIP event when I was invited by McDonald's. And I would love to see the Grand Mac return with Fresh Beef patties. Can you imagine the size of that Fresh Beef double? Oh, man, I, that just makes me excited just thinking about it. And yes, Mr. Rogers, I did see the Stranger Things uh, little teaser uh, this morning for season four. I'm not going to give it away. Don't, don't give it away here in the chat if you guys have um, seen it already. Um, but some speculation about who may or may not be coming back. That's all I'm going to say. But yes, it was very good. It's not easy being cheesy. That's right, Drew. You already know. And yes, e Ricard, Valentine's quarrels are a no bueno situation. <laughs> no bueno situation. E, E, why are you doing that? Don't give it away. <laughs> I guess it's too late. I probably should have seen that, that thing earlier because my thing is moving here right now quickly. So that may be my cue before the fights break out here. Um, guys, thank you so much for jumping on here right now. I really appreciate you guys uh, being on here. I hope you guys like the review. Let me see a thumbs up here in the chat before we round this one out. Let me see some thumbs up if you guys want to see some more regular fast food reviews in the live stream format because I am putting my live streams out officially on the channel. They're no longer going to be in unlisted mode. Um, you guys will see them available the very next day. So I want to make sure I keep them as entertaining as possible to keep you guys engaged. And if you've made it this far into the replay, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being engaged from the very beginning here. And uh, let me just tell you, I have had a blast doing this tonight with you guys on Valentine's Day, on technically a national worldwide holiday, I guess. Worldwide holiday. Um, it is what it is. And yes, Stephen Shields, I'm ready for the PS5 also. We got a thumbs up from Fetty Foodie King. Nehemiah, what did you review? Chances are you're watching this on the replay because you're going to find out if you haven't seen it already. But it's the Popeye's Buttermilk Biscuit Shrimp. Rick Marone, you will definitely see me next week. A huge thumbs up for all of you guys and to all the people who have donated again to the channel. Manuel Soto was our only super chatter for the evening tonight. Um, but naturally, if anyone else has donated through Streamlabs and, of course, PayPal here. Um, oh, before I forget, and I put this out earlier today, if you've made it this far into the review, thank you again. Um, there's a merch sale going on on Teespring, too. So if you use the code LOVESICK, all one word. You'll find the details on my social media at Peep This Out Reviews. It's also on Twitter. 10% um, off your order as well so that anything that you put in there um, is discounted up until the 17th of this month at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So um, love sick perfectly because naturally it's Valentine's Day. Um, you guys have 10% available for you there as well. So if you guys are looking for my mug, which I absolutely love this thing. Mm, good, good stuff. Um, and also all the other stuff that you'll see on there. You guys have it available at a discount. So good times for all of you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on here right now. We are about to jump out and get something light and then probably go see Birds of Prey. I'll let you guys know what I think of that next week. Um, Mr. Rogers, last couple of questions. How did, did I get the commercial? <laughs> I got you. I was contacted based upon my review from Apoyo Loco's Wings that I did back in December. So naturally, the production company that handles the account for Apoyo Loco uh, reached out to me off of my website and this we were kind of chatting back and forth and then let me know if I'd like to participate in some way I didn't know what I'd be doing um, But then when I found out what it was and where I had to be and what I had to do It was really kind of just on from there. So good times definitely good times Stephen Shields videos in 4k is a must 1080p is good for memory size But naturally I may dabble with the higher end stuff as we go. I do plan on changing some equipment soon um, that's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to jinx anything just yet. So we'll keep it up. We'll keep it frosty for right now on the down, I should say. And we'll just go with that. So to everybody here in the chat, who do we, we have a multitude of people? We got 48 people in the house here right now. Hit those thumbs up down below as well on your way out. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And uh, we'll definitely be back again next week. Brand new content. Naturally, this replay will be coming tomorrow. You'll find the collab video uh, with the endorsement that I'm putting together, putting the finishing touches on for Sunday. Um, Monday, there may be something if I can get this done. I've, I've, there's a few things that I actually have to do, and I kind of want to break a few things up. So um, naturally, you'll see some stuff coming this week. Like I said, two to three pieces of content every single week. And of course, we'll be back to that live streaming. And uh, yes, Donald, Wendy's breakfast is on the radar. I've seen that advertisement at my local Wendy's for the last month and a half now. Um, so of course, we'll be doing a few different things on that there. Of course, the breakfast Baconator looks ridiculous. I can't wait to check it out. 
And uh, Alex, thank you. I appreciate you as well. Nice seeing you work with the endorsement. It was a good time. I've known that cat for about six years now. Um, so it was great to finally meet him and uh, actually just kind of just like just talk about anything and everything and film and have a good time. It was it was really, really fun. So it is what it is and uh, it is what it's going to be next week here on the live stream. What am I going to review? What could it possibly be? Who knows? All I know is it better be as good as the Popeye's buttermilk biscuit shrimp with the red pepper jelly sauce, because I got to say this was pretty amazing. This is really good. I may actually want to make this with some eggs. Does that sound weird? So maybe some eggs would go pretty good with that. So we'll have to see. So guys, thank you so much for jumping on. Eva Card says she'll check out anything on your channel. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you, E. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd love to get a few more commercial spots on a few things. It was fun to do, and it was just a blast to work with some really amazing people in the industry and just to kind of network a little bit more and just have some fun. Um, a lot of other things to talk about in a few weeks as well. I'm kind of, I don't want to jinx anything. There's other things going on, so we'll definitely keep it uh Keep it going. Nehemiah Standards, your favorite dinosaur. T-Rex is definitely my favorite as well. You already know what it is. Definitely, definitely. Guys, with that, this is Ian K closing out the live stream for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2020, guys. The start of a brand new decade with lots of love. Not just tonight, not just tomorrow, not just next week, but all the time, every time, no matter what time it is. I appreciate you guys jumping on. Like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. You already know, guys. Thank you so much for jumping on here right now. Jackie Hero Food Reviews, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that fully. To all of you guys catching it on the replay, again, thank you so much for checking it out. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what it is that you'd like to see. Um, and I have a, a lot more planned for you guys, naturally. We've got a lot of fun things to look forward to here. And again, 25K, I'm still figuring out what I got to do to celebrate that. I haven't I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten, just so you know. So maybe we'll chat about that if nothing happens between, before the next stream anyway. Um, we'll figure out what to do. So let me jump on over to here. I'm going to bring this on over. There we go. And I will set this up. But guys, again, thank you so much for being on here right now. It has been an amazing time being on here with you. And I can tell you, just the best, like I always say, is yet to come. You guys definitely make the world go round. My heart is full every time I end these streams. And I'm super excited to actually be on here in the very beginning with you as well. So again, thank you so much. Whatever you guys are doing for the rest of the evening, have fun. Be safe. Don't get it twisted. It's Valentine's Day. But... Definitely uh, have a blast and have a great weekend. Again, content coming on Sunday, collab video with uh, You Know Who, and you'll see uh, the replay for this tomorrow. So guys, have a great one, and I'll definitely talk to you soon. And again, stay frosty. I love you guys.